Gonna see if it's a piece of crap. Is it a piece of crap? No, it works very well. That's works very well, apparently. The Dyson uh, robot vacuum. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how it goes. Gonna take it home now, set it up. This is a $2,400 robot vacuum from Dyson. Only came out a few days ago. I was keen to see how it goes, so I yeah. thought I would test drive it for turf and tools. I'm kind of taking one for the team here, because who wants to buy a $2,400 robot vacuum before they know what it's like? There's a big bag. Now, what do you get in the box with the Dyson robot vacuum? If I can get into it. Oh. We have our power supply. Instruction booklet. What a waste of paper. This is part of the docking station. Docking station part two. And then we have the unit itself. And that's all that comes in the box. I guess beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but that's a good looking machine. Not that I'm attracted to robot vacuums, but that's as far as robot vacuums go. All right, let's get this thing on charge so we can start playing with it. Okay, so it's literally only four pieces. Not much to it. So of course there's an app for it, like everything. Um, it hooks up to your phone via Bluetooth, then hooks up to your home Wi-Fi. Literally took about a couple of minutes to do this setup. All right, I'm gonna let it charge, and then once it's charged, I'm gonna uh, create a map so it knows where to go. It does have this little extending side duct here that pops out and uh, lets it go right up against the edge. This is the underside, rubber wheels which have uh, suspension, independent suspension. It can climb up to 21 mils because of these. And they call this a triple action brush bar. Hopefully that means it picks stuff up. There's a washable filter in here. And the canisters at the back here just pops out. You empty it by pulling this button here. Uh, let's get it to work. You had to give it a name. I went with Taylor Swift. I thought I'd have to map it first, but it's saying uh, ready to clean. Start your first clean. This is flashing, so let's see. Watch the video. <sighs> And let's go. It actually hit that. Another hit, another hit. But the dogs haven't freaked out, which is kind of weird. Again, just nudged that leg. I wouldn't have thought it would touch stuff at all, but ooh, can it get under that lounge? Yeah, it's going under. Got a little bit jammed up here, but it got out of it. The wheels were tending to make a little bit of a squealing noise at times. I'm not sure if that's a polished concrete floor thing. So far it's mapped out the area around there where it started, which is all there, and then this hallway there. This is just its first run, I'll have more thoughts coming up on it. Okay, it's doing the walk of shame back home now, after 52 minutes. 